Laptops in the bin, laptops in the bin. What is this? This device has the power of more 1,000 laptops. What? You know I got it. sunshine in my pocket. Can we get secondary screening over here, please? Thanks in part to the explosion of demand from artificial intelligence, data centers have seen a spike in the need for capacity and speed. But you can't just rip out the existing infrastructure every time you need to upgrade. That's where this comes in. Fatty joins us for a closer look. And Fatty, this is not a laptop. Definitely not. What is this? It's actually the industry's most advanced 800 gig intelligent coin and pluggable. So this kind of unit is helping rewrite the rule book for building a data center. Absolutely. How so? So actually data centers are getting a lot of pressure for space and power. Just to give you an example, artificial intelligence or AI is demanding a lot of processing power at these large data centers. There are over 11,000 data centers out there. The thing is, is AI is generating a lot of traffic between these data centers that they cannot uh, meet the power requirement. Hence, there is a movement now, there is a push to push these data centers to be uh, geographically dispersed and hence creating a demand for connectivity between these data centers. I want a closer look at this. Yes. How do we do that? So let's do augmented reality and see the, the inside of such a blockable. <laughs> All right, so now I've got glowing blue hands. Perfect. And here we are. <laughs> As you can see, there are two main building blocks. The one, which is the black square with the Nokia, Nokia logo on it, that's the DSP, that stands for a Digital Signal Processor. Think about this as the brain of the pluggable. Now that's the one I mentioned that's got the processing power of more than 1,000 top of the line laptops. It's got, it does the modulation, it does the forward error correction. It's responsible for all the multi-vendor interop. The other key building blocks is what we call the T-ROSA and that stands for Transmit Receive Optical Sub-Assembly. So nothing to do with Ferrari? Nothing to do with Ferrari Testarossa. And this is where we have our photonic integrated circuit. It's based on indium phosphide technology. So now your question is like, so where do I use this plug, right? Well, because I see that the world gets plugged in here and everything works its way out into what appears to be a network component box. Yes, this pluggable you'll see it goes into a switch, a router and a data center. It can go into an optical platform as well. And we have a flexible deployment model. So this kind of unit is helping rewrite the rule book for building a data center. Absolutely. Data centers are not an island, right? So they, they need connectivity between each other as well as between uh, the data center and the end user. This has been fascinating. My geek heart is just enjoying all of this, but I would really love to meet the brains behind the technology. Let's go and meet them. All right. All right. So this is where all the action happens. Absolutely. What does a network operator or a hyperscaler need to know about the key specifications of this unit? Three things. So the first one is high optical performance. High optical performance means how much capacity that you can push at the maximum distance, right? So what does that mean? That leads into a reduction in cost per bit per kilometer, reduction in, in OPEX and a reduction in CAPEX. So that's number one. Number two is basically uh, the programmability, being able to deploy this technology over virtually any optical infrastructure. And that's done by programmability, by having multiple knobs where you can tune the baud rate, you can tune the modulation, you can do, tune the uh, uh, the launch the launch power and many other factors in order to maximize the capacity over any given link. And the third one is? And the third one is multi-vendor interoperability. We discussed earlier how AI is putting a lot of pressure in terms of like bandwidth between data centers, in terms of you know reduction in power consumption and drugs in the footprint. So these pluggables is the step into the future. So everything we do at Nokia, it's all about the technology innovation that drive us to the next level. There's one thing we haven't done. The blink and light test. Let's do it. It blinks. I think you need more lights. <laughs> Thank you.
Good luck at the airport. Laptop in the bin. You again? The secondary screening still on break.